Hello kids, welcome to the environmental science class. Today we are going to start with the unit 6, our environment and chapter number 15, water. Let's revise. Take two potted plants. Water one plant regularly for 3-4 days. Do not water the other plant. What do you observe after 3-4 days? Why do you think it is so? Write your observation and the reason in your notebook. Now, what are the plant in the second pot too? What do you observe after 1 to 2 hours? What do you conclude from this activity? Write down in your notebook. Now, let's begin. All living things need water to live. So kids, you also drink water regularly? Okay, let's start. Plants and animals too need water. Plants need water to grow. Plant cannot live without water. Plant makes their food with the help of water. Water also helps in transporting minerals to various parts of the plants. Some plants like rice, wheat, peas, lentils, cabbage, cauliflower and mustard need a lot of water to grow well. Other plants like cactus, acacia and date palms need very less water. They can live without water for many days. Some plants grow and live in water. They are found in water bodies like ponds, rivers and lakes. They are called aquatic plants. You can see the pictures of rice and cactus. Some examples of aquatic plants are lotus, water lily and water hyacinth. You can see water hyacinth. Like plants, animals too need water to live. They need it for drinking and bathing. Some animals like buffaloes, cows, dogs, horses and elephants need a large amount of water to drink. Smaller animals like cats, insects and birds need less amount of water. Some animals live and grow in water. They are called aquatic animals. They are mainly found in rivers, lakes and seas. Fish, crab, octopus, whales and dolphins are some aquatic animals. You can see camel. Fascinating fact, camels can survive without water and food for many days. They are called ships of the desert. Here you can see the pictures. Fish, dolphin, crab, octopus. Now activity. Make a chart on aquatic animals. Fascinating fact, rain water is the purest form of water. Now sources of water. Rain is the main source of water on earth. Rain water fills oceans, seas, rivers, lakes and ponds. Some rain water also seeps in the earth. Such water collects over time and it is called groundwater. The level of groundwater in a particular area is called water table. Sea water is not fit for drinking. It is too salty. It has to be treated before it becomes fit for drinking. Underground water is, however, fit for drinking as it becomes pure when it seeps through many layers of the ground. Underground water can be drawn by digging wells, tube wells and hand pumps. You can see the picture of wells, hand pump and tube wells. For farmers and people living in villages, wells and tube wells are the major sources of water for watering the crops and for everyday use. In some villages, people have to travel a long distance to get Water. You can see a woman carrying water. Water in our homes. Water from rivers and seas is taken to water treatment plants where it is purified by adding chemicals which kill the disease causing germs. The purified water is then stored in huge tanks called reservoirs. Water is then supplied from these reservoirs to our homes through pipelines. We can use this water through taps fitted in our Homes. You can see the picture of liver water, water treatment plant, reservoir and taps. Potable water. Water which is fit for drinking is called potable water. The water we get from our taps is not very pure. Water has to be purified before drinking. Boiling is the most effective way of purifying water. It kills most of the germs present in it. Nowadays, water filters and purifiers are also being used. You can see the picture of boiling water, water filter and RO water filter. Now the activity given below are four containers of water. A, B, C and D. Arrange them in increasing order of quantity of water they can hold. Starting with the container which can contain the least amount of water. Now, 
storage and safe handling of water. In villages, people mostly stored water in earthen pots called machkas and ghada. You can see the picture of machka and sudahi. In cities, water is stored mainly in tanks, bottles, buckets and jars. These containers are generally made of plastic, metal or glass. See, overhead storage tank, bucket and water bottle. Safe storage and handling of water is very important. Water should be stored in clean containers and covered with a lid. Drinking water should not be touched by hand. It makes the water dirty. Water should be taken out from the containers with the help of utensils having a long handle. Water is precious. Save it. Thank you kids. I hope you all like this class. We will meet in next class. Till then, bye-bye.